What if your parents prevent you from marrying someone? This is so, so common. The scholars have mentioned that if your parents prevent you from marrying someone, no matter what their reason is, whether you deem it valid or invalid, you must obey them, subhanAllah. If they say no to someone because they're not from the same country, which is very common, or they simply just don't like them, or any other reason, which has no substance whatsoever, then you must in fact obey them. And this might come as a shock to you, and it can in fact be an incredibly difficult pill to swallow, but always remember that the Prophet ﷺ, he said, إِنَّكَ لَن تَدَعَ شَيْئًا لِلَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ إِلَّا بَدَّلَكَ اللَّهُ بِهِ مَا هُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنْهِ Verily, you will never leave anything for the sake of Allah. Unquestion, it's a promise from the Prophet ﷺ. You'll never leave anything for the sake of Allah, except that Allah will in fact replace it with something better. So obey them and have certainty that what you're about to lose is going to be replaced with something that is better without a shadow of a doubt. But with that said, and I'm sure you guys are probably thinking this question, is there any situation where you can disobey your parents if they prevent you from marrying someone? The answer is yes. If you remember to the start of the class, what did we say? There are three circumstances where you can disobey your parents. Number one is if they ask you to do something haram. Number two is if they ask you to do something that leads you to harm. And number three is if they ask you to do something that is against God manners towards them. From that, the scholars have said that if you fear that you're going to commit zina with that person, let's say you've gotten very close to someone and you meet them every day because they're in the workplace and you just can't avoid them and you feel such a strong connection that you're going to do something like, you know, maybe kiss them, for example, or hold them or commit zina even worse, anything like that, then you can disobey and you can get married to them. Another situation is if your parents prevent you from getting married at all, this is something that they can't do, so you can reject in that case as well. Or if they put conditions which are basically impossible, that he has to have uh, long hair, he has to be from this postcode, he has to be from the north, he has to be from this country, and his skin colour can't be too black and too white, he has to be like a caramel or whatever it is, then also you can disobey because chances are it's very, very slim for you to even find that person. So these are the three kind of situations where you can disobey them. But remember one thing, yeah? Just because you can disobey your parents in this situation doesn't mean that you can be harsh with the way that you disobey. You have to disobey with humility. You have to disobey with kindness, as we've mentioned. Otherwise, you will enter the scope of Ruquq, subhanAllah. Tayyip, what if your parents, instead of commanding you not to marry someone, they command you to marry someone? Let's say they have family friends and they're like, oh my God, I just love that, that kid so much. I want him to marry my daughter. Yeah, this happens very common as well, in especially in the East. Let's go back to the three circumstances where you can disobey your parents. One of them is where they ask you to do something that leads to harm. If you look at the person that your parents want to marry and you think, SubhanAllah, I'm just not attracted to them. I don't find their personality attractive. Their deen's not good enough, whatever it is. And you know full well that if you marry that person, that you just can't bring yourself to fulfill their rights or you're going to lead yourself to harm and you're not you're going to lead them to harm, then you can in fact disobey them. But if they suggest someone that you think you're okay with marrying and you wouldn't mind maybe with a little bit of compromise that maybe you could make it work, then it's better for you to obey them in that situation, okay? And finally, to wrap up this entire section of Birr of the Body, I want to mention a key lesson for you guys that's not going to help you just with marriage, but it's also going to help you with any situation where your parents put their foot down and they say no. Just because your parents say no, doesn't mean that you can't try and convince them, okay? I don't want you to think, okay, it's black and white. If they say no, I can't do it, otherwise I'm sinful. You can spend some time trying to convince them. Now, here's the thing. The beauty of Birr al-Walidain is that if you apply everything we're learning in this program to the best of your ability, not only is your life going to be flooded with the barakah of Allah, which we've discussed extensively, but you're also, without a shadow of a doubt, going to soften their hearts towards you. They're going to be more prepared to compromise for you more and more to make sure that you're pleased. They're going to feel indebted to you because you deserve compromise, because you've been so good with them. You see the point here? We have to be honest with each other. Most of the time, whenever we see any inflexibility from our parents, it's usually our fault. Let's be honest. 
If your relationship with your parents is one where you argue all the time, you're always speaking back, you're always making them upset, then of course, if you want something from them later, they're going to be way more inclined to say no. And if you try and convince them in a harsh way as well, or you're too pushy, they can see it like you're challenging them and you're challenging their authority. And so when they put their foot down and they say no, it's probably because of these situations. So change starts with you. Always remember that if you do Birr al-Walidain properly, you're going to soften your parents' hearts so much that they're going to be willing to compromise for you more and more. Sometimes it can take weeks to change their minds. Sometimes you have parents where it will take years. Sometimes it will never happen. But it's down to how badly you want that thing you want them to change their mind on to see if this is a battle that you want to take on.